In this video, we're going to take a look at finding the expected value of a discrete random variable. Now, what do we mean by the expected value? Well, this is essentially just the mean of our discrete random variable. So the notation we use here is E of X, like so. So this is the expectation of our random variable X. And the formula for this is the summation of X times by the probability of our random variable being equal to little x. Okay. So I'll explain this in more detail in a moment, but like I said, this is the mean, so you can also use mu here to represent this. And again, it's just going to be the same formula, so sigma x times the probability of our random variable x being equal to little x. Okay, so like I said, they're essentially interchangeable. It doesn't really matter which of these two that you use. And if you take a set of observations from a discrete random variable, then you can find the mean of these observations, but as the number of observations increases, this value will get closer and closer to the expected value of the discrete random variable. Now that might sound obvious, um, but it is important to note here, so just keep that in mind. And we can actually generalize this result here for, for finding the expectation. So if I want to find, say, the expectation of x squared, and this will become important in the next video when we take a look at finding the variance of a discrete random variable, then this result here is given by the summation of x squared times the probability of our random variable x being equal to little x. And you could keep going here, so the expectation of x cubed, that would be the summation of x cubed times the probability of our random variable x being equal to little x, and so on. So the general result here would be the expectation of x to the n is equal to sigma x to the n, times by the probability of our random variable x being equal to little x. Okay, so like I said, it generally doesn't really matter past um, the expectation of x squared, but it is important to be aware of the general result, and this one in particular, we'll need this in the next video, like I said, for finding the variance of a discrete random variable. So that should be everything we need. Now let's take a look then at this example where we find the expectation of x for our given probability function. So like I said here, we just need to use these two formulas here for this example. So a little bit messy, but you can see the, the, the formulas that we need. So I'm looking for the expectation of x here, or the mean, whichever you prefer. So in that case, I'm going to do 0 times 0.1. Like we said, we just do x times it by its probability plus the next one. So x times its probability plus x times its probability and so on. So we then do 1 times 0.3 plus, so it's going to be 2 times 0.05, 2 times 0.05 plus 3 times 0.3, and then finally 4 times 0.25. Okay, so what I need to do now is simplify each one of these. So 0 times 0.1 is 0, 1 times 0.3 is 0.3, 2 times 0.05 is 0.1, 3 times 0.3 is 0.9, and then finally 4 times 0.25 is 1. So what have I got here? So 0.1 plus 0.9 is 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 0.3, we get 2.3 there. So the mean or the expected value of our random variable x is 2.3 for this first example. So like you can see, the result of the formula isn't too complicated, so hopefully it doesn't seem too bad there. So here's a practice question for you to have a go at. Like always, pause the video now, um, have a quick go at it, and then we'll take a look in a moment at what you should have got. So hopefully you got an okay with this practice question. Let's take a look now at what you should have got here. So again, we're just finding the expected value of our random variable x. So all I'm gonna do then is use this formula. So for the expected value of x, this is just given by the summation of x times by its probability, okay, or its respective probability. So in this case, all I'm going to do here is take my value of x and times it by its probability. So we do 1 times 0.2 plus 2 times 0.1 plus 3 times 0.4, and then finally plus 4 times 0.3. So like we said, we'll just times in the values of x by their respective probabilities and keep going and add everything together. So 
1 times 0 0.2 gives me 0 0.2. 2 times 0.1 also gives me 0.2. We've then got 3 times 0.4, so that will give me 1.2, so plus 1.2. And then finally we've got 4 times 0.3, which will also give me 1.2 there. So adding everything together here, 1.2 plus 1.2, that's 2.4, plus 0.2 is 2.6, plus another 0.2, giving me 2.8 here for the expectation of the random variable x there. Okay. And there we have it. So that's what you should have got, 2.8 for this practice question. So that brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to take a look at finding the variance of a discrete random variable.